got home from Paris yesterday after a very, very long flight and car ride out of New York City to get home. So I'm currently sitting on the floor in my bedroom trying to pull all the pieces together in my mind. Oh, I gotta take some Tylenol, drink some more coffee, and then we can start to get our life back together. because I need to get unpacked as soon as possible and get stuff picked up and put away. All of my stuff, uh, I've got Brian's stuff and then the boys' stuff since they were being watched by my in-laws. Gotta get all of the stuff picked up, put away, and try to get my life back together. Step one is to make the bed. I always feel so much better when my bed is made and some days like today where the morning is pretty chaotic I don't make it right away but once I do I feel so much better. ran the dishwasher right before we left and Brian unloaded it this morning before he went to work. So that's super helpful. So we've got a clean sink with not a pile of dishes here. So that's great. But I do gotta take care of this stuff and the leftovers from breakfast. So now I gotta begin the arduous task of going through the mail and all the papers from school. But a bright spot in that is that I got my happy mail from Morgan Long. I'm a patron, patron? Yeah. I'm a patron of hers, of her YouTube channel, etc. And as a result, I get a monthly postcard and sticker and it's like a bright spot of every month. I'm gonna save that for last once I go through all of these other papers as my reward. The only place that I long to be when away. I love that in the cauldron is some stardust tea. It's so sweet. Love it. Thank you, Morgan. Here's a trick when you're dealing with what feels like random stuff everywhere. Move it to the next closest room. So for instance, if you know that a particular sweater belongs in the bedroom, at least move it out of the kitchen to get it closer to where it's supposed to go. Or the books that need to go in the living room, move it out of the kitchen into the dining room or what have you, but at least get it one step closer over to the next room to where it's supposed to go. Counter's clear. There's some souvenirs I'm going to show you in a second, but it's all clean. 
Yay! So, some souvenirs. I bought boys candy from a little market. Uh, they specifically requested candy, so I bought them some French candy. These are marshmallows with white chocolate. They're really good. And then these are Monsieur and Madame. They're really good. And the boys are already enjoying them. <laughs> Just gave them to them last night. The great thing about consumables is that you eat them and then they are gone. And I like that they get a little flavor of France. And then this was sort of an impulse buy. Brian bought this for me at the airport because it has the opera. These are teas. Eiffel Tower and the Ark. And they're so cute. Look at these adorable tins. So this is tea, which is technically consumable, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of the containers for a while. So I'm going to have to find some way to repurpose them. If you have any ideas, let me know. And then the last thing I'm going to do down here before I go upstairs to unpack my suitcase and do laundry and all that stuff is to order groceries. So it just makes life much, much easier to order groceries and have them delivered and not have to worry about it. I'm not asking for your thoughts. I'm just thinking out loud in the dark. in-laws watched the boys while we were on our France trip and also for a couple of extra days beforehand because both boys were sick and I'm so grateful that my mother-in-law always tries to do the boys laundry before sending them home so there's less laundry I have to catch up on and I can put all of their clean clothes right back in their drawers. bought the boys at Shakespeare and Company bookstore in Paris. It's got the little stamp in it. It's Kylie the crocodile in Paris and it's the whole story about this crocodile that lives in the canals and how it got there. And the illustrations are adorable and this is my favorite page. I can swim up to people and I can watch them. Watching people in Paris is creme de la creme. Times will come again When the wind is blowing in my direction I'm not gonna keep this because I have all the pictures from the Asian. Oh, and this I actually didn't end up using because we didn't have an outlet that could handle it. Never curled my hair. All the votes for the black loafers won. I ended up only wearing these one time. I wore them for my special date night outfit and that was it. I thought I was gonna wear them a lot more but we ended up walking so much that I had to just rely on my comfy tennis shoes the whole time. There was an H&M right around the corner from our hotel and I ended up buying some washcloths because um, we only had one in our hotel room, which is apparently a French European thing. Honestly, it was just an excuse to go into H&M because we could have asked the hotel for more washcloths. Plus, I knew I needed some at home too, so it all works out. I ended up throwing in this white collared shirt. If you remember from my outfit, outfits video, I wasn't sure about bringing it, but I'm really glad that I did because I didn't count on the fact that when we arrived in Paris, it would be like 11, 30, 12 o'clock ish. And so I had basically half of a day to do stuff in Paris. So I really needed another outfit. So I'm really glad I had this. I ended up wearing it a couple of times. 
usually I wouldn't buy something like this, but for some reason it really spoke to me and I'm really looking forward to using it. Especially I could use it as my new library book bag for books to take to and from the library and I think that would be super cute. I did wear this jacket but only one time because it was so cold. <laughs> I also ended up buying socks in Paris uh, because I didn't pack enough. <laughs> I packed socks to wear with my black loafers which I didn't end up wearing so we ended up having to go buy socks. So I guess that's kind of a souvenir. Christmas ornaments because I just think they're so lovely. And it's a rose scent and it's really beautiful. And at Shakespeare & Co, I bought this because, again, it's really beautiful <laughs> and it's one of my favorite books. Oh, and postcards. Postcards. I'm going to put them up by my desk. The so phone goes in the bathroom. My biggest tip for getting back to normal life after a trip is to unpack as soon as possible and also do the laundry. Probably those two things together will help you feel back to normal. Thanks for coming along with me as I unpacked and cleaned up and basically got my life back on track. <laughs> to celebrate, there's nothing like fresh flowers. So we're gonna treat ourselves with these fresh flowers and call it a day. I'd love to know what makes you feel like you've got your life back together and helps you adjust after a big trip or big transition. So if you would, leave a comment down below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next Friday.